Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. This is ice fishing time and it's also time we can plan for the spring and plan the lures we're going to get and so forth and I'll talk about that another time. But right now I want to talk about what is going on in ice fishing right now. And from what I can understand, okay, from, and, I, and I'm going to bring my buddy Jigger Jim back into this because I want to talk about Black Lake. That's one of the places people from all over come to ice fish. And he says, basically, right now, there's a lot of sections with five inches of ice. But he says, I'm not going to tell anybody that. And I understand what he's saying because it can be so risky at the first time of the year. The ice conditions can be so risky that we got to be very, very careful. But he said a week ago, his son Seth went ice fishing near Dave Roll's cabins. And a lot of you listening will know that area of Black Lake behind those cabins. And he said they caught 12 really big crappies. Now, what are really big crappies? He said they, those, these crappies were ranging from 12 to 14 inches long. That's big. That's really big. But he also said that uh, Three Mile or Mile Arm Bay is a place that today, as I'm talking to you, he's going to be out there ice fishing with his son. And we talked about the different aspects of that kind of fishing. And as I said before, Jim uses Vexlar. You've heard me talk about it. It's a fish finding unit. But what it does is it allows him to watch the fish or watch the images of the fish and how they respond. One of the things that Jim told me is he says, I never wait for the fish to come to me. When I start out, I'll give it 5, 10, 15 minutes. If I don't see fish, I don't stay there. I go to other holes and set up my hole rigging that way. And it's sort of an interesting perspective for all of you that are thinking about ice fishing. You know, we all have different ways that we do stuff. We all have different things that make us enjoy it. But still, it's interesting to get other people's perspectives. Jim talked to me about his buddy, and I was talking to Jim yesterday, but his buddy was on Chippewa Bay, and he said already in the, in the time he'd been out there, which was probably an hour or so, he had caught a dozen really, really nice perch. And then Jim got into the essence of the difference between fishing crappies and perch. He says, if you ever watched when perch come up to strike under the ice, he says, oh my gosh, They've got terrible aim. They'll come up and they'll try to get it and they'll try to get it and they'll miss it and miss it. And I said, that's really interesting. He says, the, the way they seem to have their best means of biting is if they've been following something. And I found that very interesting. I said, Jim, are other fish, do they have that bad at aim? He, he laughed. He said, no, I don't think so. He says, but perch really don't seem to be, be very good athletes. And I, and I thought about the times when I'm fishing back in the weeds, which I'm not really good at, the thick, thick weeds and using a surface lure. And so many times the fish will come up, but they'll miss it. They'll miss it because it's the same thing. It's almost like us. We can relate the same thing to us trying to catch a fish or trying to catch a ball. And, you know, I remember seeing an ad where recently on TV where a dog was jumping up in the air to get a Frisbee and it, was, it missed it. And it missed it, but as quick as lightning, it snapped again, and it finally got it. And I thought, that's no different than these fish trying to catch whatever it is they feel escaping on the surface. And it's kind of like what he talked about, the perch. But in putting these perspectives in, it really, it makes fishing more interesting and more exciting to me. And, you know, I, <laughs> I'm glad the ice fishing is getting good right now. You know, Jim has these different places he goes. We talked about the northern pike fishing in Black Lake. And the one thing that he said I want you all to remember is he said the minnows that people use in Black Lake, the minnows you buy at different bait stores, they don't come from Black Lake. They come from a whole other region. And they're, they're sold to a distributor in Vermont who redistributes them here. But the real, the native minnows of Black Lake are golden shiners. And if you can get... Golden shiners, you know, I, I've talked to you about my friend that sells them on Black Lake, but there are places you can get them. But the golden shiners, in Jim's view, work the best. And Joey Parker is the guy I'm talking about. Joey has a shop, and Joey goes out, and he uses big, big golden shiners. So his preference is to use big baits for big northerns on Black Lake. And we'll talk about another person's 
take on all this in another report. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.